Hello, hello, good people. Welcome to Kanorik Derish. Today, let's talk about food do's and don'ts when you're dealing with rheumatoid arthritis. And for those who are not familiar with rheumatoid arthritis, here is a brief introduction. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic disease, meaning it lasts longer than one year. Your immune system mistakenly starts attacking your joints, and if you don't get medical attention, your joints will be permanently damaged. Common signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis include pain in the joints, sometimes very severe pain, swelling in the joints, stiffness in the joints, fatigue in your body, because of all the changes happening and mental stress. In addition to getting medical attention, it is advisable that you eat healthy. Some of the food suggestions include inflammatory foods because they reduce the C reactive protein in your blood therefore reducing the inflammation. Some of those foods include sal salmon, fish, salted fish, dark green vegetables, mushrooms, berries, just to mention but a, but a few. Another thing that, will, that helps is foods that are high in fiber. For the same reason, they reduce the C reactive protein in your blood, therefore reducing the inflammation and reducing the pain in return. Some, some of the sources of food that have high fiber include broccoli, high whole grain, whole grain, legumes, and fruits. Now, there are meat loss that, that are very important when you're dealing with rheumatoid arthritis. And some of those meat loss are calcium, potassium, and magnesium. They help with the muscle contraction and flexibility. And the so, some of the sources of calcium include low-fat milk, yogurt, fortified juice, tuna fish, tofu, sardine, kills, and spinach. For magnesium, the sources include legumes, kills and spinach, nuts, arrow roots, if you're familiar with them, whole grain, products and mushrooms for potassium it includes mushrooms again so mushroom is a very very healthy vegetable bananas avocados spinach yogurt and potatoes one of the treatments of rheumatoid arthritis is steroid treatment. When it is good for inflammation, steroids may cause deficiency of very important nutrients in, in, our, in your body. So some of the nutrients that are affected include folic acid and the sources of good sources of folic acid include spinach, pinto beans, lentils, fortified uh, cereal and bread. Uh, another nutrient is vitamin C and the sources include citrus fruits and juice, broccoli, strawberries and kiwi fruits. Vitamin D is also affected and the sources include salmon, milk, fortified cereals, 
vitamin B6 is also affected and the sources include fish, garbanzo beans, fortified cereal, vitamin B12 and the sources include fish also, milk, preferably low fat milk and shellfish, vitamin E and the sources include almond and sunflower seeds. Some nutrients that may be affected include zinc and the source include fish, legumes, nuts, uh, low fat dairy products, whole grains, eggs in moderation or just the egg white without the egg yolk, shellfish, vegetables, mushrooms. Another nutrient is serenium and the sauce includes chicken, sunflower seeds, turkey, beef, whole wheat products, tuna, tuna fish, asparagus, just to mention but a few. Now, this, the products, the foods to stay away from when you're dealing with rheumatoid arthritis include processed meat because it contains nitrates and purine which increase the inflammation and leads to joint pain. And this include hot dogs, corned beef, bacon, and sausage. So instead of those products, you go for fresh cut meat instead. Sugar is also not a good, it's a food to stay from it because it triggers the, re, the release of cytokines, which are inflammatory agents and they can cause, uh, they can cause joint pain. Refined, refined grains, uh, this is because uh, when they are refined, most of the essential nutrients are removed and uh, therefore uh, they can cause inflammation. They increase the inflammation because they have no, no nutrients to, to protect, to reduce the inflammation. High alcohol consumption may increase inflammation in the blood and also with the the some of the medications that you take when you have rheumatoid arthritis when they interact with uh, high alcohol consumption they can have a uh, very uh, very harmful side effects like river damage and stomach ulcer so stay away from that from that too too much a consumption is not it's also an issue and uh, it can cause swelling and uh, joint pain so stay away especially from the egg yolk so if you want to 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 take many eggs uh, please remember to remove the egg yolk and just consume the egg, the egg white uh, dairy products they are they have high level of protein Cassein and uh, saturated uh, fat. Uh, Cassein triggers inflammation and uh, also saturated fat triggers inflammation. So use lean protein and low fat instead. Fried, uh, fried foods are high in saturated fat which triggers inflammation even if this depends on what kind of oil is used but if you are not sure stay away from fried food unless you prepared it and used the healthy kind of uh, oil. So that's that. I hope this video helps you as you deal with uh, rheumatoid arthritis. I hope it makes your life easier and I hope it helped you to spread the word to other people who may have family members that are dealing with rheumatoid arthritis 
and they may not know how to deal with it. Thank you very much. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you very much.